rain. I was about to say another day of sunshine in, in Italy, but yeah, can confirm that that is definitely rain. Why you do this to me, Italy? Um, but yeah, guys, welcome back to another video. It is my last day in Italy. I leave today, but I'm only getting picked up to go to the airport at uh, 5.15, which means I've got my almost my entire day here. And uh, yeah, I've got a completely free day to do whatever I want to do. Uh, my, my trip, my work has ended with Emilia Romagna tourism board, and I can just do whatever I want today. First things first is uh, finish the edit for yesterday's vlog from the David Cassani Grand Fondo. Then once I've done that, I'm hoping that once I've done that, it's going to stop raining. Hey Siri, when is the rain going to stop? Siri is still being shy, but apparently the rain's going to stop at 11 a.m. It is now nine. That is two hours. I want to head into the mountains on my final day. And right now, there looks like there's quite a lot of cloud cover into the mountains. Now, if it doesn't stop raining, I mean, I'm still going to go out. I'm still going to make the most of my last day because it is currently about 15 degrees warmer than it is in the UK. But I think I'm just going to wait for this to blow over. All right, edit time. Okay, so as the forecast predicted, uh, it's now 11 o'clock and the rain shower has passed and it is, uh, it's not dry, but it's starting to dry up. So I'm gonna head out. There is a forecast for like just on and off showers today. So maybe it's gonna rain again, maybe it's not, who knows, but I don't really care. But yeah, if it does then, you know, it's not a huge issue. I'm just gonna crack on. I wanna get one more ride in before I head home this afternoon. So let's get the day started. So apparently it hasn't, uh, it hasn't rained here for about a month or two, so. No doubt the roads are going to be a little bit oily and a little bit slippy, so I'm just going to take a little bit of extra care on the uh, on the descents whilst the roads are wet. But obviously I've done it this area, and you know because I'm going home this afternoon, I don't want to uh, just go out and get lost and then spend all day trying to find my way home. So jumped on Strava, the Route Builder app, plotted myself a two-hour loop heading in towards the mountains. Plotted a route that goes over two sort of fairly substantial climbs both around 6k i think so probably 15 20 minutes of riding each one i'm gonna make the most of the terrain whilst it's at my disposal not bad italy not bad i've just pulled off the main road and started the first climb it's called the monte battaglia really trying hard with my italian pronunciation but yeah i'm already out of breath <laughs> i'll see you at the top Not a bad place for a peace stop. Made it to the top of the first climb. Uh, it's also the highest elevation that I'm gonna get to today. We are currently 550 meters up in the sky from, from sea level. That was a 6K climb, probably sort of five or 6% average gradient. But the one thing that I noticed is like there's not, not one car has passed me. I, I have no idea where I am. Um, I'm probably in the middle of nowhere, but there's no cars on the road. So it's meant, it's, yeah. I have came from that town right down there if you can see it right there and then yeah we just made it into the mountain so this is where we are right now and i'm gonna head down the hill that way the two climbs in today's route come in pretty quick succession uh i descend down now to the bottom and then literally from the bottom of this climb there's like a 1k section and then into the second climb so let's uh let's keep her let's keep her rolling Okay, so we went through a small town and I'm well into the second climb now. Equally as stunning views, man, but a little bit better road surface this time. But yeah, the views. There's a lot of trees around, but you can still get a good view. Okay, that's the top of the second mountain. And it's just, uh, we're just like in a, a bit of a hub of mountains, I guess. Time to descend back down. It's cool, we get to the top of the climb and as you can see, there's just like a few houses at the top. And I mean, we're just in the middle of absolute nowhere. But that's the two climbs of the, today's ride done. Now I'm gonna descend back down to there. 10, 15K, all downhill. Yeah. I 
I descended down from the mountains and uh, I'm currently just riding through this town called Imolo. Just your standard Italian traditional town. Uh, kind of want to stop at the cafe for a quick coffee on my way home but I know the rain's coming so I kind of want to get home before it starts raining but I bet there are some sick little cafes around here. Saw about four or five there in the main town. Oh, there's another one here as well. But I resisted. I resisted the temptation. I'm just gonna crack on and get home. That ride right there was uh, was timed to perfection. I'm getting back and it's just, just starting to rain, so. Great ride. Great final day in uh, in Italy. I just wish I could be here longer. I wish, wish I could do some more rides here. I got a few hours here now at the hotel and then I gotta pack up and leave for the airport. Turns out that lunch at the hotel finishes at half past one. I got back from my ride at 1.45. I've missed my lunch in, at the hotel, but uh, it's not too much of an issue. I'm just gonna walk into town right now and it also provides a good excuse to just go and find a cafe and drink coffee for a bit. <laughs> if the Italians can do one thing, it is make a decent mug of coffee. In our hotel at breakfast, they've got one of those, just one of those bean to cup uh, machines where you just put your cup on, they press the button and it, your coffee just dispenses out. And it is honestly one of the best coffees I have had in, in a long time. Cheers. So I'm getting picked up to go to the airport at 5.15. The time is now, uh, the time is now 4.43, half an hour. I need to pack my bag and also my bike. I guess we best crack on and not leave it until like complete last minute. My, I've scanned the bag. Oh, okay, so perfect. Look at this. The oversized baggage belt is just all automated. I just press the button and hopefully the bike's gonna get taken away from me. Please look after it. Please. And we're back. We are back. It's the following day now. I got home last night, but it was pretty late by the time I think it was past midnight by the time I got home. That is the Italy trip done and dusted. I wanted to make one last quick note, uh, to my conclusion, opinion on Italy. If any of you guys want to go uh, uh, and check out Italy yourself. Yeah, clearly, clearly a very incredible place. Uh, somewhere that's very much untouched by, by tourism. Uh, there's a very sort of local community feel to it. The roads are so quiet as you saw from the vlogs. The scenery is incredible. It's just so green. The climbs, well, you know, the climbs speak for themselves. Uh, the one little criticism that I do want to have is the road quality isn't quite up to standard. It isn't quite as good as you'd get in other places in Europe. For example, in France and also in Spain. All the main roads are great, but as soon as you come off the main road onto like the smaller, the climbs and like the descents down from the climbs. Yeah, in, in places the road surface gets a little bit, uh, a little bit gravelly and just generally a little bit more rough. Uh, but like it's, it's still better than the UK. It's still better than, than like around my local area. So for me, that wasn't really a main, like that wasn't really a factor. I didn't really notice it. Uh, but maybe if you are used to riding in Spain or, or in France, then you would probably notice it a little bit more. But yeah, guys, thank you so much to uh, Emilia and Romania for taking me to, to Italy and for experiencing their region. I hope to go back sometime soon, but that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the last few days uh, uh, just as much as me. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Peace.